Hey everyone, Mr. Cinema Junkie here with the entry to Dyslexic Nick's Alphabet of Awesome Movies. We are up to the F's. And I went through my selections and I had two. I narrowed it down to two. And I thought I had it in my head what I was going to present for the F's already. And then as I was looking through them, I was like, hey, wait, no, I'd rather do this one. I don't know why I do that to myself. I should have just grabbed the one I originally picked. But I decided to go ahead and do two of them. One, because I think they're really awesome. And two, Cody did it. Why can't I? Anyways, this was the original selection. Um, and it's a very scary movie. See? It says right there, very scary. You thought I was lying? No, it says it on the back. That makes it official. Uh, it's one of the coolest ghost movies I've ever seen. And these aren't just ghosts like, oh, we have an uneasy spirit in the house and you can hear it weeping and we have to do something to it. No, it's not that kind of ghost, man. These are ghosts. These are the harm you in every way possible ghosts. These are creepy ghosts. I speak of John Carpenter's The Fog. Starts off with an old man telling the story of how these people were betrayed by a town and the town was built on I believe the money that they got from from the betrayal. Uh, they ripped them off and had them uh, and drove them into the rocks as they were sailing to their to their cove and uh, they come back seeking revenge and uh, you know the title of the movie is The Fog and that's basically what they roll in on is a fog, the fog rolls over the land uh, supernatural fog of course what so fights against the wind and everyone's just tripped up by that in itself and then people start dropping yeah, they're not messing around. They're not knocking on wood, and they're not making noises in the night. They're out to slit some throats and de-gut some people. Adrian Barbeau plays the local DJ of a radio station she runs and owns. Uh, she spends her time making announcements about when, when and where the, the fog is hitting so people can get out ahead of it. And everyone's favorite scream queen is in it, Jamie Lee Curtis. John Carpenter is known for uh, composing music for his movies. He did so in Halloween, uh, which is one of the most recognizable tunes in horror movies. He also does the score for this one. It's all original, and it's uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, if you're into ghost stories that are a little more extreme than your average run-of-the-mill ghost story, definitely check out The Fog. Way better than the remake, in my opinion. Um, definitely check that out. And the second movie, I wanted to show it for a couple of different reasons. One, because it was the standout part of a franchise. It was the turning point for a franchise. Uh, also, because of the current state of movies, as far as 3D is concerned, it's like they're coming out every other day. It's like, where's the magic? Everything's 3D. The game systems are 3D. The TVs are 3D. The movies are 3D. 3D, 3D, 3D. 3 damn D. Everywhere. When I was growing up, if you got to see a 3D movie, it was a very, very special thing because they hardly ever came out. You know? Uh, see, the closest we got to common 3D was on TV with the red and blue glasses, kind of like this one came with. I don't watch it in 3D on my TV. It sucks. But uh, when I saw it in the theaters when I was a teenager, man, that was awesome. That was good stuff. I speak of Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D. It was presented in what they called Super 3D at the time. And this was the turning point for the franchise because, as you see there, see the hockey mask? 
that's where he gets the hockey mask. In part one, he was a deformed child. In part two, he wore a sack on his head with a hole for an eye. It looked like the elephant man. But in part three, that's when he grabbed the hockey mask that Shelley brought with him to uh, prank everybody. And that was the mask we've grown to know and love over the years after that. Parts 3 through 10, all the way into Jason versus Freddy, and then the Jason and the Friday the 13th remake. Still, still gotta have the hockey mask. That's what we know. So that was, uh, that was a turning point for a very important franchise and a lot of people's uh, lists of horror movies. It's one of the top franchises around. Um, everybody knows it by name. You say Friday the 13th, first name pops in your head, Jason. So, those are my presentations for the F's. The Fog and Friday the 13th Part 3. I'm sure many of you have seen them, but if any of you haven't, do check them out. That's it for now. I'm Mr. Cinema Junkie. Thank you for watching. Keep it brutal.